Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy, and this is an extended edition. Extended Episode 7, Five Steps to Mobilizing Your X-Pages App. Okay, before we get started with the show, um, just a couple quick reminders. Um, I just want to remind everybody that I do have the, the live site xpagescheatsheet.com if you are looking for the cheat sheet. And in addition to that, I've got a demo app available for you to download and pick apart. Uh, I did a Big Notes 9 recently on several of the examples in that demo, and I'm going to continue to flesh that out and hopefully add to this app to make it a little more encompassing. So there's a demo app. There's a, a fake names database with some fake names to have some data to play with, and uh, if you want it, go ahead and get it. Uh, next, uh, just a quick reminder about the XCast podcast, which is at the xcast.net, and uh, I'm on that show with uh, Tim Clark from IBM and Paul Withers from Intech, and what this is, it's just a podcast that's dedicated to all things X pages. So whether it's going to be development techniques or, or, or vendor-based or... Um, maybe even administration, though none of us are administrators. Um, it, so we're trying to do a little more frequent shows to uh, keep the, the momentum going on X-Pages, but there is uh, no promises on the frequency of the shows. So if you want, check that out. Uh, we, we're trying not to run too long. We haven't been too successful in that, but uh, as we get better at it, I, I think the shows will get a little tighter and uh, and a little easier to, to consume. So, okay. So today uh, we have a guest speaker back with us, and this is uh, Chris Connor, who did a show on a, on a walkthrough of a CMS app, and today he's going to talk about uh, taking an, an X-Page application that he has on OpenNTF and, and mobilizing it uh, using the, the mobile controls. So uh, take it away, Chris. Okay, thank you, David, for giving us the opportunity to talk about um, the mobilization of a project called Xdesk, which is available on, on, on OpenNTF. Now, the Xdesk application is a simple uh, issue tracking database which can be applied to a variety of situations from IT help desk, through to health and safety, quality management, and such like. The goal of this project really was to provide a primarily iPhone and iPad interface into the application to allow you to search for documents and touch the kind of knowledge base um, and to review the status of, of various issues and also to be able to post updates um, as required as well. So how does this application work? Very, very quickly um, people raise issues, they fill them in and they submit them and pass them through a workflow. So that come, comes from draft, to awaiting response, to in progress, to complete. And each stage, various people can interview and search for documents within each of the stages of the workflow process. From that, the user can then choose to export to Excel, um, primarily used for reporting purposes. Down the right hand side we have a couple of windows, um, if you like. They allow you to keep an eye on your own open issues and also status updates um, as you progress and work on the, the issues you can apply a status update to, to them. So uh, that's monitored via this window as well. Okay, I'm using a, an iPhone emulator here. Um, which isn't quite 100% what you get on the real device. It does look a little bit nicer, I promise. Um, but as you can see just now, um, the core interface just now is, is based very close to the, the default template, if you like, that you get from OpenNTF. So we made some minor customizations which I'm going to walk you through later in this uh, presentation. The minor customizations really uh, cover I would say three main areas. One, uh, when you first hit the database um, with a browser or an iPhone or iPad, um, there's a redirect routine that goes on in there um, to point you to the appropriate X page and, and uh, CSS and such like. Two, um, I did a, a simple search routine here. Um, and that search routine uh, just does a simple full text search on all the documents in the database. 
and allows you to pull out specific documents such as those. Once you've got that, click on a single document and open up detail. Now, that's obviously useful for viewing the history of, of what's going on in that particular issue um, and also get a bit more detail around the um, actual issue itself. But also at this stage, you can post a status update. Okay. So if I clear this, you can see all the documents listed before. If we go back into the original document, you should see that status update has been applied. Okay, so what are the actual steps um, that you require to, to perform to enable your database with mobile controls? It's pretty straightforward. You have uh, two choices basically. You can either deploy a separate um, database which points to your target database. That's standalone. That means you don't have to interfere with the design at all in your target database. That's a good option. I've done that before. That works well. The other option is to copy um, the two X pages you see below and the custom controls, the three custom controls you see here, into the database. Um, that means you have a single design being deployed in one database that works well in the situation with, with XDesk. Okay, so what we do next is set the launch properties of the database to open the designated X page, which is, a, I've called it redirect. Very simple um, piece of code. I got this from I think it was Declan Lynch's um, post, or one of his posts. Um, I'm doing a simple match on the user agent, uh, checking if it's iPhone or iPad, and redirecting to the initial mobile controls X page. Okay, this is the first mobile control X page that we that we reference and change. And the two parameters I changed here are the view name that you call for listing all the documents um, when you first go into the little app, and then um, the next page is used for uploading comments or posting um, data back in the main document. The main document that displays the individual document, if you like, in the next page, um, I've changed it a little. Um, not a lot to be honest with you, I'm pointing it to individual fields that are also relevant to my particular set of documents. Um, I've added in a little bit of functionality to call and Skype, which I thought would be useful, um, particularly for Xdesk. Um, and the status updates have changed the repeat control um, to point to my fields as well, basically, you know, probably to tidy it up a little. Um, and the status update routine. Um, there's a post button down here which triggers a, a function. I've changed that a little as well to work with my sort of setup. So, in terms of the code, it's contained in an X page called End Document. Um, the fields listed here, as you can see, the repeat control, the post button that triggers that particular function listed at the bottom. So, some examples of how that's kind of put together. It's, it's very simple if you understand. Kind of basics of X pages. It's a matter of really changing the field names to suit. If you want to apply any formatting or do anything more sophisticated, you can do that as well. I'll, I'll follow up this section actually with some more in depth um, video round about that kind of stuff. But trying to stay pretty much close to the default mobile controls functionality where possible, keeping it fairly generic. So the, the Skype ID and telephone number stuff, as you can see, I'm pulling out fields, tell, and Skype. Um, yep, Re reference it with a little image, um, which displays only uh, if the field is has a value in it. Walking through the to the repeat control. This is where all the status updates are, are displayed. I made very few changes to this, to be honest with you, from the, the default 
uh, mobile control template. Again, mainly it's really just pointing to the fields that are relevant to your particular database and calling this function at the bottom when the button is clicked, passing a document, some author information, the body ID. I uh, made a couple of changes to that as well, but nothing. This is the main view that's displayed um, when you first go into the mobile controls um, application. Picking up the view that I mentioned earlier that, that was previously defined, um, and I've added a search bar and a couple of buttons for, for managing the search. The other change that I've made is that I have uh, obviously repointed the fields uh, to the fields relevant for my set of documents. So in terms of the M view custom control that we have to change, there's not a lot we have to do here. Um, I point the go back to the top here. I point the domino view um, to the view name that is defined previously. Uh, it does a search, um, picking up a session scope called search string, and then that's defined um, by uh, the, the input fields and the button that sets the search string basically. So the go button sets the search string and the remove button simply clears the search string and clears the component input text as well. Simple as that. The repeat control is wired to that view that we looked at um, and it's simply a matter of changing a couple of the, the fields. So that's all the changes that I have had to make to the... Um, okay, so if you have any questions around mobilisation um, or X pages or mobile controls or X desk, the free issue tracking application from OpenNTF, um, just drop me a note or go to the blog, contact me there. I'm often online there, or you can get me on Twitter, probably the best routes for getting hold of me. So thanks for your time and enjoy. And that's the show. Uh, thanks a lot, Chris. I really appreciate you coming on and contributing. Uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, Here's my contact information, and I thank you for your time.